Hi. Let's look at this page first. I made in yellow some important parts. And it says in 1892, this guy named Homer was one eighth black. He sat in a car of a train and it's in the state of Louisiana. It's a state in the south part of the United States. There's a law that says you can't do that. So he was arrested and he, uh, they argued that this was not right all the way up to the top, top place where they argue laws. That's the Supreme Court. He was saying, and the people helping him were saying, that this law, this separate car act, <clears throat> separate means you need to put people in two places, or you can put things in two places. Like if you separate things, you maybe you put the the green ones in one place and the yellow ones in something else. They said it violated, means it did not follow the 13th and 14th Amendments. That those are like the rules of the United States. This guy was one of the judges and they voted that it was okay. This law was okay. And he wrote this stuff down here <clears throat> saying that this separate is okay if they're equal. In 1896. And what he wrote was that this law, Separate Car Act, does not conflict, means does not go against, it does not go against the 13th and 14th Amendments. It does not go against the 13th because the 13th said no more slavery. But this guy's problem had nothing to do with slavery. It just said they have to go to different parts of the train. <clears throat> um, and it was not, and when you make things in two separate, when you make people go in two separate places, uh, no tendency, um, this means like usually. It would not usually stop, destroy, <clears throat> the two races being equal. So, so just because you put them in, like black people in one, black people in the other, does not make them not equal. This is what they were arguing. This was their story. Now, the 14th Amendment, he says, remember, this is this guy... Henry Brown writing this, and all the people that voted with him agreed with this. The 14th Amendment was supposed to make races equal with the law, but he says it didn't mean that you can abolish means stop, distinctions means differences, it didn't mean that you would pretend that there's nothing different. That's what he's writing. So just because you give people equal rights, it doesn't mean that you're pretending that there's no difference. That's their story. Uh, so that laws which say you must have, 
require them being separated don't mean that one is better than the other. Now here's some evidence. Uh, one of the questions talks about evidence. He says the evidence is like connected with, means it's similar to when you make separate schools for white and black people. And he says that uh, the states and the courts in those states and the legislative power, that means the government of those states, said that that's okay. Valid means okay. And in the end, he writes, the, the laws can't, powerless means can't, they can't erase feelings. They can't make people stop feeling things or stop thinking things. And the laws can't abolish means stop. They can't stop things from being different. <clears throat> Just because you make a law doesn't mean that black and white are the, are the, are the same or that old and young is the same or things like this. Uh, just because you make a law doesn't mean that those things magically are the same. That's what he writes. So, so if the rights are the same, equal, then how could one be better? It says, one cannot be better or worse. Inferior means worse. So that's his argument. Okay, uh, this one is an easy one. It says, when was it written? And let's look at the next page. Uh, this one says, <clears throat> if the big court says the law is okay, can the same law be made in other states? Well, yeah, if the top, top, top people that look at laws says it's okay for the whole country, that means the states can do that law too. Uh, evidence, look for the word. Uh, this one is... Uh, <clears throat> Look, look for there, uh, number three, I marked where number three is. Number four, I marked where number four is also. This one says that the Separate Car Act does not violate, means goes against. That's a very bad go. And this four, number four says, why did this not go against the 14th Amendment? This one down here, it says evidence. What evidence does this guy Brown, Mr. Brown, Justice Brown, say that separate but equal is not, does not go against? So what evidence does he use to say separate? and equal is okay. That's the one about the schools. Okay?